Welcome to Chef M's Kitchen and happy Cinco de Mayo. Today we're going to be making a Mexican plant-based feast, starting with homemade corn tortillas, plant-based tacos, Mexican martinis, and not to mention the best guacamole you will ever taste. Y'all ready to go? Let's get started. So in this bowl I have two cups of masa harina. It is a corn-based flour, it's gluten-free, and it's what's used to make most corn tortillas. This is the brand I use if you are wondering on which brand to get. So I highly recommend this brand and it always performs really well. So I'm gonna be mixing two cups of this with one and a half cups of really hot scorching boiling water. And I'm really lazy to get a pot out so I'm just using leftover tea water and it looks like it's ready. So, out. I'm going to be doing one cup and if that is not enough, if the dough is too dry, then I will add a half a cup more. So let's mix that together. Oh, I can already smell the corn. These are so much better than store-bought guys and they're so easy to make. Looks like it's gonna to be too dry, so I'm gonna add the other half cup. And after you mix it up, you're gonna to wanna to knead it until it becomes more pliable so you can make your tortillas. The dough is gonna be hot, I'm gonna warn you, because we're using hot water. So let it cool off a little bit, and then uh, maybe Form it into a dough ball, let it cool off, and then start kneading with it. And if you are a daredevil and hot doesn't bother you, then go ahead and start kneading it now. But you just want to make sure that the dough is not too wet and not too dry. So if the dough is wet, add more masa. If the dough is too dry, add more water. I'm going to transfer this onto my surface. I'm going to spread some corn and some masa out so it doesn't stick. Perfect. And I'm gonna knead it into a big dough ball. You know, you've got to work with what you can. Also, these tortillas tend to stick, so what you do when you use a tortilla press is you make sure you have some sort of surface that you can put the tortilla in so it doesn't stick. What I've done is cut open a Ziploc baggie, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the tortilla press up, 
and put my Ziploc like so. So when I am putting a tortilla ball in here and pressing it down, it's not gonna stick and I'm gonna have a really cute little tortilla. tortillas then roll a bigger ball mine was about uh, like three to four ounces so it makes about this size and it's gonna be really cute on a plate so that's why I picked this size also to make sure that these don't stick together I have my moist towel on here but also I have them separated with little sheets of paper now I'm gonna fry them up in a cast iron skillet if you don't have a cast iron skillet that's fine nothing fancy you just need a pan and some heat and we're gonna fry up our tortillas all right so I'm gonna turn the heat on make sure that it gets really hot because it's only gonna take a couple of seconds to fry up each side of the tortilla so when that pan is nice and hot put your first tortilla on you can put a couple Okay, so now we're gonna make the inside of our taco. It's gonna be a plant-based take on a ground beef taco. So we're still gonna get that meaty flavor, but we're gonna get it with veggies. So all we need is about a pound of carrots, about a pound of mushrooms. It doesn't matter which one you choose. I chose Baby Bella um, as a yellow onion and a couple garlic cloves. So I'm just gonna go ahead and peel off the outer skin and then I'm gonna chop them into a small bag. about three. 
I love garlic, so I might do a little bit more than three. If you don't like garlic, use less, but there's really, is there a garlic limit? your whole clothes in there. All right, fam, I have my food processor ready to go. I have my fresh chopped veggies. Made sure they were washed and rough chopped. You don't need to do anything fancy. And I'm just gonna pour them in. I'm gonna mince together the garlic, carrot, and onion first. And then once that is broken down, I'm gonna do the mushrooms. 